bonus Easter cocktail episode. I am Helen. A few days ago, I woke up so excited. I had this Easter cocktail running through my head, this amazing idea. So I made it up and it's absolutely delicious. So Marty and I thought, why not film a bonus Easter cocktail episode to celebrate Easter as I know we're probably all celebrating Easter at home and why not make a zinging bunny hop which is a much easier pronunciation than last week's cocktail so we're going to make a zinging bunny hop today five ingredients we have a beautiful lemon zest then some lemon juice and the incredible vampire's blood liqueur now I have used this before if you remember it is made from chilies and white chocolate and it is from the Castle Glen distillery I absolutely love these guys you can check them out you can purchase online and then another ingredient is a beautiful limoncello this one is from the Tamarind Mountain Distillery. It is a superb limoncello. I love these guys as well. You can check them out online as well. And our last ingredient is one big cup of ice cream. I have used vanilla ice cream. And as you can see, or maybe you've guessed, we are making a thick shaped cocktail today to celebrate Easter. So in here, we are going to pour in 30 ml of our limoncello which is one ounce so 30 ml let's pour in there whoops and then for the next ingredient is 45 ml of the blood vampire's blood liqueur let's give that a shake as well and we want 45 ml which is one and a half ounces goes in oopsie being a bit that's 30 mil then woo, 15 I went a bit over <laughs> so that's that then we want just a little bit of lemon juice so around about 5 mil which I think is 0.16 of an ounce so just a little bit of lemon juice there goes in and then with our lovely lemon zest look half a teaspoon maybe place that in there like so voila and then one last ingredient I'm actually going to put in ice because we want this to be a cocktail thick shake let's add a bit of ice to make it nice and thick okay so I have my tongs today we add a little bit of ice in like so so excited ice goes in and all we're going to do is blend it up buttercup so we want our blender and our lid with our blade so let's blend it up buttercup Wow, I think this is it. There is going to be an incredible cocktail in there. Now, our beautiful glass today, as you can see, it's Easter. So let's be a little decadent. And I have this glorious glass, which is so incredibly decorated. I found and purchased this glass in the Czech Republic maybe 28, 30 years ago when I was traveling there with my beautiful friend Donna and I thought it was a perfect occasion today. So there we have a lovely glass and all we're going to do is pour in our zinging bunny hop. Okay. It's all very gentle. I'm going to use a spoon to help me pour it in. And I'm going to try and just be gentle here, pouring. Oh, look at that. Ooh, my goodness. Wow. There we have it. Let's have a little bit on top there, a little peak, like so. Now, our garnish today is lots of fun. I have made uh, a couple of toffee shapes. 
oopsie. And then you're gonna place that in there like so. And then one more beautiful toffee shape goes in. Look, looks like a little bunny. Then can go in like that. And then I have two, well, I have one dried lemon slice that I've sliced and want to place it in like that. And voila, look at that. I think that's looking gorgeous. And one more thing, why not? Little bit of grated chocolate on the top there. And voila, there we have our zinging bunny hop smoothie thick shape cocktail let's give it a taste which could be a bit tricky <laughs> hold on i'll go from the front i think I'll turn that around and give it a taste <laughs> it is superb it's got a little tiny kick it's got the zing from the lemon it's got a little kick from the chili it's got the chocolate it's so delicious Mm. Amani and I are going to enjoy these incredible zinging bunny hop cocktails this afternoon as we play a card game called Sushi Go and we are also going to partake of these glorious allergy free bunny chocolate cupcakes. You can see them here proudly on our bar. Now I purchased these from the beautiful Beck who owns and runs an allergy free cafe here on Tamarind Mountain called Wilderflower and Wonderberries. It's an incredible cafe. Thank you so much, Beck, for making these wonderful cupcakes for us to celebrate our Easter afternoon today. And, Beck, thank you so much for also loving and watching our cocktail show. We appreciate your support and your love. And if you out there have loved today's cocktail, today's fun and frivolity you're welcome please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and you're also welcome to subscribe for more wonderful wonderful cocktail adventures that's it from me i wish everyone much love and joy this easter as we celebrate at home i'm helen the cocktail queen of mount tamarind thank you so much for watching cheers thank you It is so good. Okay, it is so good. Yum. Mm. Yum, yum, bubble gum. Happy Easter, everyone. Cheers.